Welcome to another video. So we have another quick absolute value integral. I'm not going to explain a lot because I believe if you're watching this, you've seen the other videos that explain what to do with absolute value functions. But in case you are not aware, here comes the explanation. So this is what you have to do every time. There's an absolute value expression in an integral. You have to know that this guy we have here, the absolute value of x could mean either of these two things. It could mean x itself, if x is greater than or equal to zero, or it could mean negative x if x is less than zero. I know this looks redundant, but you have to recognize that because this integral could be two things. This could either be the integral of some values of x that are less than zero. And when the values of x are less than zero here, as you can see, the boundary includes numbers that are less than zero. So from minus one to zero, this is the part you'll be using. So you'll be integrating from minus one to zero e to the negative x. And once you get to zero, you start obeying this rule. And that rule is you take another integral, which is gonna be from zero to three of e to the x dx. You see the two different ones just because of that definition. So whenever you see the absolute value sign in any integral, make sure you go break it down to when the function Whatever that function is, if this is x squared, well, x squared is always positive, so you wouldn't need to do this, okay? But it say it's x squared minus one, then you have to do it. You have to find when x squared minus one is positive, and when x squared minus one is negative, you have to solve inequalities and all that. So, but this is a lot easier. So let's just get to the answer of this. If we integrate this, it's gonna be minus e to the negative x, evaluated from minus one to zero plus, if we evaluate this, it's gonna be e to the x, evaluated from zero to three. We just need to plug in our numbers. Well, let's pull out the minus to avoid confusion. If you plug in zero here, it's gonna be e to the zero, that's one. If you plug in minus one here, it's gonna be minus minus one, which is e to the one. So that's gonna be minus e to the one, which is e, and that's that. Plus, we do the same thing. Well, there's no minus here. Plug in three, it's gonna be e to the third, plug in zero, minus one. And if we clean this up, this is gonna be minus one plus e plus e cubed minus one. Oh, so your answer is e cubed plus e minus two. That's the integral we're supposed to get. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.